Welcome to Scridley's super simple ammo guide for Tarkov. We're just going to get right into it here. We're gonna, not going to be breaking down any numbers. We're not going to be talking about anything fancy. This is strictly my opinion and experience in the game. So let's go ahead and get started. So Buckshot, pretty good up close, honestly, good on a budget. Your Piranha and Flechette are going to be more devastating people to armor though. Uh, moving on from that, Slugs, you're going to just have to hit them in the head uh, if you want to kill anybody with a Slug, unless you have the 50 BMG or the AP-20s, and then you can actually get through armor, especially with the AP-20s, but the BMGs are not too bad either. Uh, 20 gauge, same kind of thing with the Buckshot Slugs, uh, and then same thing with the, uh, the KS-23. Uh, moving on to the 9x18, this is like the Keter round. So the Keter, you're pretty much just going to need to spray at their face. It's like super budget. You might spawn in with one as a scav a lot. Um, you can definitely get kills with it, but it's not going to have much penetration uh, from almost all of these calibers. So you're not going to be getting through any armor, but again, if you spray at their face, which is going to be the case with a lot of these ammos, then you can definitely get a kill with obviously any gun in the game. Uh, and same goes for the next one. This is like the PPSH ammo. Uh, it has a very high fire rate, and it's probably something you'll never run as a PMC. But if you do spawn in with one as a scav like I have before, you can absolutely just spray somebody's face away. Um, and get a kill like that, but it's very, you know, sporadic on how you actually <laughs> use it. You just have to spray at the face. So I don't really recommend it. Uh, it's not something to pick up really. Uh, nine by 19, this is a, you know, interesting caliber. It's like a pistol round and you can get some high fire rate guns in this, including uh, running rip ammo or some of these Quake Maker or Lugers that are gonna absolutely rip people's legs apart uh, at a high fire rate in like a nine by 19 vector or something like that. Um, but personally, I don't really love this caliber um i think the ap 6.3s when you do unlock those at peacekeeper 3 which is not early on but you know pretty attainable for most people they're actually decent i was enjoying them for a little while in the mpx uh, but really this caliber is a little bit weak unless you're doing leg meta or have the ap's uh, or above that which you don't actually get till later in the game they're much harder to get anyways uh, let's move on to the 45 caliber you can use this in the ump as well as the 45 vector i think that is I think those are the only two guns, um, but it's actually, you know, decent if you get the match FMJ at Peacekeeper 2. Uh, the rip ammo also, if you have this in a vector, will absolutely melt somebody's legs. I think it has one of the highest time to kills in the game, um, but that's going to be a little harder to get at Mechanic 4, and I think it's locked behind a quest as well, but it's going to absolutely shred people if you put that in a vector with a 50 round drum mag um, and shoot them in the legs, but if you want to get through armor uh, on chads, you're going to need the AP, which you do get later on. At peacekeeper 3 i think it might be quest lock 2 i'm not really sure but the match fmj if you are on a budget it's actually not bad uh match fmj is a little better than the laser match uh but they're fairly similar generally speaking but again you're not going to get through much armor unless you have the ap's excuse me but generally speaking you're not going to get through too much armor unless you have the ap moving on to 9 by 21 this is like the shrimp gun as i call it at least i think that's what other people call it um but this is a pretty fun gun to use and anything below the PS really going to have pretty bad pin. The PS doesn't have good pin either. And then once you get the 74 at proper level 3, it actually starts to get a little more usable. This is the ammo I've been using in it here and there. And it feels a little weak. Like it takes several shots to kill somebody, especially if they have decent armor. Uh, but it's not bad. It's a fun gun to use. Uh, now, if you have like the BT or the 7M42, you're going to actually be able to penetrate armor um, a good bit better. And it's a fun gun to use. And I recommend uh using the bt or higher if you have it to fight people through armor but if you do have the 74 it's also pretty solid moving on to the 357 magnum never really used it don't really have anything to comment about that uh 5.7 i've never really used this caliber much other than just a 5.7 pistol um but obviously you just want the higher end ammos this one's a little hard to like remember because the at least to me like all of these kind of look the same it's like ss and then some numbers and then l and then a number like but anyways Usually only, only going to be running these in the 5.7 pistol or I think a P90 takes this caliber as well. So if you have the higher, higher pin uh, ammo, it's going to actually be really devastating at the super high fire rate. Um, and I think the high magazine capacity the P90 has of like 50 probably. Um, but you can definitely spray people in the face with that, but the high pin is going to be better. Moving on to the, to the MP7 ammo, uh, which is a 4.6 by 30 millimeter. Uh, action and subsonic again good for spraying at the face mp7 is like relatively budget of a weapon um but the jspsx is going to be your good entry level like able to get through armor uh type of round but you are going to be able to get the fmjsx later on as well as 
APSX when you find it, uh, but the FMJ SX is going to really go through the armor really well. The JSP does feel stronger than the shrimp gun, which is similar with the 74, um, but your JSP is going to have a little higher pin at 32 versus the shrimp's 74 of 27. So if I had to pick between the two, I think the MP7 is a little stronger, but those are both similarly comparable in my opinion. Uh, moving on to 9x39, this is another caliber I personally haven't used too much, but I think it's actually very good, um, especially if you get the SPP or above. But even the SP5 has 28 pin and 71 damage, so it's decent. It's going to go through armor a little bit, but you're going to struggle to kill those chads uh, to the chest or right through their armor with this one a little bit. Um, but moving on, 366, this is one that's just used in some snipers like the VP Ogorna the APM, you can't even get it on the flea market anymore, but you can find it and I believe craft it or something like that. Uh, it's really good for like one or two tapping. The rest of these, you're probably gonna have to get a headshot, but the EKO is the better of the four uh, here. And again, if, I'll leave a link in the description to this site if you wanna look through these actual stats yourself. I'm just trying to give you the quickest rundown possible. I've recorded this video like three times, uh, I'm trying to keep it short and sweet. Moving on to the five, Four, five. This is like your, your AK-74U type of caliber. Uh, a lot of these are trash. You're really going to want at least PS or above in my opinion. Um, but then this caliber is actually like decent. It doesn't really compete with some of these other larger rifles that we'll get into. Um, but if you do have some of these higher tier ammos like the BT, the BP, the BS, or especially the Agonic, uh, they have such high pin that they're going to really just shred through the armor. It's just going to take a few shots to kill people depending on what armor they have of course. Um, but it's a it's a decent caliber to run and again I think anything above PS is actually good for pe fighting people with armor anything under that you're gonna have to get a headshot moving on to 556 this is a pretty popular caliber this is like the M4 caliber it saw some changes uh, fairly recently I believe so M855 when you can get it is gonna be what you want you can get it at peacekeeper level 3 so make sure you get peacekeeper 3 uh, to buy M855. It used to be super garbage, but now it's actually like a good middle tier ammo for this caliber. Um, you can also craft the SOST in your hideout if you do want to uh, craft that to sell or use. It's a little bit better than the M855, um, but you're not going to be able to get the 5.6 A1, which is the red tip, until Peacekeeper level 4, but that's when you're going to start to really see uh, more effectiveness with the M4. But again, the M855 is not bad. It's it's pretty good. So definitely use that if you have it. Anything less than that, you're probably going to be uh, struggling to kill people with armor. But as long as you get the M855 at Peacekeeper 3, you should be good for the M4 or the ADAR. But the M4 is better because it's full auto, of course. Now moving on to 762 by 39 one of the uh, historically better calibers in the game, in my opinion. Uh, at least in my experience, I'll say. Uh, so again, you're going to want something like PS or above, ideally, in this caliber. Um, otherwise, you're just going to have to be relying on headshots pretty heavily. The US and the T45M, I mean, it can go through like class 3 armor decently, but you're just going to struggle against class 4 and above, and most people are going to be running at least class 4 in most cases. So again, uh, for this one, you just want the PS or above. Moving on to 300 Blackout, this one has been fairly popular, this wipe, at least more than I've seen in my last few wipes. Uh, and this one, you can actually get the BCP FMJ from Skier Level 3, which starts to give you a viable option in this like MCX 300 Blackout round. I'm not actually sure if there's any other weapon that takes it. I think it's just the MCX. Um, but you can actually make some good builds with this. I haven't used it myself, but I actually do want to try it out. The BCP FMJ, going to go through armor like so-so, but if you can get the CBJ at Peacekeeper 4, then it's going to really start to go through the armor. Um, this M62 Tracer as well is definitely an improvement from the BCP, but this is actually a pretty good caliber this wipe. I definitely uh, recommend trying that out if you haven't, like I have. I really need to try it out myself, but we're going to move on to the Spear caliber, the 6.8 by 51. Uh, from what I've heard, I haven't been able to run it myself yet, but this is actually a dirty caliber. Problem is the Spear is very hard to get, but uh, both these ammos very good, especially the SIG hybrid, but that's a Peacekeeper 3. But you can get the SIG FMJ at uh, Peacekeeper level 3. So if you do get a spear and you want to have a powerful gun to run, I definitely recommend uh, just giving it a try with even the SIG FMJ. It's super powerful. I think one of the better guns uh, in the game right now. Again, it's just really hard to get. So we're going to move on to 762 by 51 This is one of my all-time favorite calibers, probably a lot of people's. So this caliber does a lot of damage, has a lot of pin, that's why it's one of my favorites. Um, and it's also used in you know several guns that you have some options with. So 
Uh, the RFB, for instance, is a good budget option. One of my all-time favorite guns. One of my first favorite guns when I started the game. Um, and you can get uh, BCP FMJ from Jaeger Level 3, which is you know pretty attainable for most people. And, and that's going to give you a, some, some decent ammo. Uh, but really, any of these above, except for the Ultra Nosler, isn't good. But the TCW is you know all right, uh, at least compared to all these other ammos we've looked at today. Um, but the BCP FMJ is definitely going to uh, be a step up in actually killing people with armor. Uh, but the big step up is going to be when you can get M80 from Peacekeeper Level 3. This is locked behind uh, the Quest Revision Lighthouse, which is a pain to do. But uh, if you can get that done and get the M80 unlocked, this will just open up a lot of uh, chat killing ability for you. Uh, it's really good. You can run it in the FAL. You can run it in the RFB. You can run it in a 7.62 MDR if you get one. Um, there's a lot of options with this. It's super powerful, a lot of damage, a lot of pin. It's going to go through armor, and I highly recommend it. I'm not going to spend too much longer on it, but anything above that, uh, all these other ones are really good for that caliber as well. But make sure you prioritize getting M80 uh, if you are playing Tarkov. That's just my strong opinion. Uh, so we're going to move on to 7.62x54R. This is like a sniper caliber. It'll, it's also used in the SVD, which I've never used a lot myself, but I have been thinking I'm gonna give the SVD a good try uh, this wipe here soon because it is a very powerful uh, large caliber similar to the 762 by 51 where it's got, a, it's got a lot of damage and a lot of pin. So you can put it in an SVD, which is uh, semi-automatic. So you can really do a lot of damage pretty quickly uh, through some chads with armor with this caliber. Uh, really all of these are good but especially the fmj and above uh, but really you want the lps and above ideally because you want that really high pin to make sure you're getting through that armor so uh, good strong large caliber there again it's usually used in an svd or maybe like the sv98 uh, or a mosin for instance if you want to throw this in a mosin and have a devastating uh cheap mosin build with iron sights or whatever uh you can definitely uh kill some chads with that but Moving on to the Ash 12 ammo, that's the only gun this goes in. PS12A, ton of flesh, no pin, don't really recommend that. The PS12 is like eh, because it has 15 or 115 damage, which is a ton, but it only has 28 pin, so it's gonna go through like tier three armor and less very well, but above that, like tier four and above, which most people are gonna be wearing, uh, it's gonna struggle a little bit, but where the Ash 12 is really, crazy powerful is the ps12b which you can get at proper level four uh you're gonna have a whopping 102 damage with 46 pin which is a lot and it will one tap most people with like tier four and below and then people above that should always die to two taps uh in the thorax that is or in the chest um so yeah really powerful there uh again you want to probably run the ps12b if you have to run a ps12 it'll definitely get the job done in a lot of cases but the ps12b is one of the more powerful uh, calibers in the game just like the one coming up uh 338 lapua magnum probably the most powerful caliber in the game i believe uh harder to get the weapons for this though as well as the ammo but if you can get um the fmj or the ap it's going to have super high pin super high damage and you're going to be able to one to two tap people in the chest no matter what they're wearing pretty much uh so that's why it's a little bit harder to get the guns and the ammo but you can buy the fmj from jaeger level four so it's definitely worth running if you can uh, acquire it. Uh, but other than that, we have the mounted weapons, which are just grenades and whatever. I don't know much about them. And then other, oh, some buckshot grenade. I don't know anything, but don't know anything about that. But uh, anyways, hopefully, I, I don't know how long this video was, like 10 minutes or something, 12 minutes. But hopefully this gave you an overview. Uh, if you want some more in-depth like guides on certain calibers and weapon builds and things like that, let me know in the comments. But hopefully this video was somewhat informative. Uh, and thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.